Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of All the Mod 7. Now I've been doing some stuff off camera. Um uh I've done some enchanting. Uh, I switched to all the modium tools because I kind of panic panic through my pickaxe into uh some lava. Uh it was unfortunate. The only thing that I really miss from my pickaxe is the glowstone tip. I'm not sure. So all the modium isn't really accustomed to uh, silent gear. I don't think they're really compatible. So, oh yeah, rainbow furnace. So these were, these weren't difficult to make, but annoying. Um, they're a little grindy. So, the rainbow core is made up of two netherite furnaces. And then, the different stained glass. I'm not sure if it works with... Normal glass. But I went and got all the glasses and dyes. And I think getting all the dyes was probably the hardest part. Besides, a few of them were easy to get. Well, I guess none of them were too difficult. But... Regardless, it was really annoying to do. And then you get this rainbow plating, which is literally all of the other furnaces. So when I say it was grindy, I mean, I did this twice. Because I have this one here, and then da -da -da -da, if we go down here into our power generation room, you can see we have the rainbow furnace working hard down here too. Now, I did go and decorate this. Nothing fancy, basic stuff, but um... Same concept, two bonsai pots going into the uh, chest with a buffer. We have the sticks and saplings going into the trash can back here. Um, all, I made five more. So I think it's like 480 RF now. So we got 60, 120, 180, 240, 300. I, I think I did that right. So it was 600. And then we have it piped out of the furnace. The charcoal comes out of the furnace. And I have a pipe upgrade in here that's set to furthest first. So it's going to try and starting at this furnace or this one. And then just fill them all with charcoal. If they are full with charcoal. Gosh dang it. It gets put in here. We have a lot of charcoal now. More charcoal than we'll ever need. But um, we also have our wireless heat transmitter. Which is great. Um... And then our tesser, which is set to power. So that is our power situation. Um, I did go ahead and breed a few more bees up. We have, I believe we're done here. We have, yeah, five iron bees in there. And then five iron bees in there. I will go and keep going with the bees, getting the different bees and going diamond and all that. Um, I'll probably keep going with it off camera. I might, if, if you guys want to see progress with this, I will certainly show you guys the progress. It gets a little grindy and boring. So much breeding. But once you have two of the same bee, you just breed them together. Um, we're doing nothing with this wax. So we're just throwing it in here and voiding it. Um, honey bottles. We only ever use the honey bottles for making honey treats. And, I mean, we can make a bunch of honey treats if we wanted to. But, we are producing a lot of iron now. Because I have speed upgrades in there. I'll show you. I got the four speeds in this one. I have the four speeds in this one. And then, I also have four speeds in this guy. So, what the speed upgrades... Whoa, lag. We have three FPS. So what they do in that is they basically reduce the amount of time they spend inside the hive. So they're in, and then they'll come right back out shortly to do a little dance. And then from there, you know the process. Put in there, gets into the centrifuge, to the centrifuge. Uh, all the iron and stuff comes in here, pumped into here. And then, boom. So the cool thing is, I just emptied this out. Like, 
maybe 60 seconds before we started i started the you know thing but um this is still doing well oh holy lag spikes i have to restart um it's doing well it's doing its job uh i would like to get into spawners because i did get silk touch and then i had efficiency three books that i combined for the efficiency five which was nice uh we got mending in here no nothing too good and this is just what i'm doing with all my books are we actually out of worms again we are damn okay uh what we got going on in here <sighs> yawning uh i did make all the modium axes pour the bonsai pots downstairs too and from just doing efficiency upgrades on them and it's been working pretty well we got a decent bit of wood i haven't let this one run too much but i'm scared of it overflowing so void upgrade in there i accidentally made that uh charging station i've been just throwing my jetpack in there and we have so much charcoal now it, we're not even worried about it so it's nice um we could go ahead and look if we can keep upgrading this we're at gold invar platinum uh what about diamond invar it sucks that you have to go in like this weird order like diamond can't go oh i can't go gold to diamond uh, I really don't know if we have that many diamonds, though. Nah, we're not going to worry about it. 10 million RF's enough for us right now. Um, what we, I always wanted to get into was hostile neural networks, just like I said. So, oh my gosh. Um, I think that'll help. Maybe not. Two A, normal. Yeah. It just keeps clearing this out. It's making me angry. Okay, awesome. Uh, we can go ahead and make this simulation chamber. Loot fabricator. Now, do we have both of these? I think we need the deep learner. Let's see what this guy is. No data model found. Please insert a data model. Your models will be trained when placed in the deep learner. If in order to train the model, you must deliver the killing blow. Okay, so model framework. We're just gonna craft a whole bunch of them. We're gonna craft quite a bit of these. Um, <clears throat> okay. We're going to go into the nether, of course. First thing I want to do is go into the nether. There it is. You know, it's always funny. Um, wow, my computer's running like dog water. I always thought it was funny when watching a youtuber and they would go into this and you always see exactly where they want to go but they never see where they want to go i always found that to be so common and you're like wow i'm always going to find that until you're actually the one looking and you know you can't find it <laughs> okay so Data collected, 0 of 6. Data per kill, 1. Tier, faulty. I don't know what that means. Do we just put that in here now? Um. 
have one of them already. <laughs> right? And this should be working. Yeah, four out of six now. We are collecting blaze rods really fast. The looting on the sword. Aren't I not supposed to take um, fire damage? Maybe it's not the fire damage I'm taking, but the actual blaze damage. So, I'm going to go ahead and grind this up a little bit. I upgrades to advanced in nine kills. Yeah, I don't know how many kills I have to naturally do, but I'll be back. Alright, we are back, so if we just come over here, I did make one for with the skeletons. Uh, I got the basic. I don't know how many is normal, but I got this one to advance now. So, I think we're okay to break these. Because I have silk touch, I'm able to pick up the spawner itself. So that's pretty cool. Um, I want to know what we got from killing these guys. Uh, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> because if they drop gold um, when they die, they probably wouldn't be that bad of an idea to make a farm out of. Oh, okay, and if you were wondering what the red enchantment is, I'm not actually sure. Um, they came on some enchanting books I found in a roguelike dungeon. So, I'm not actually sure what they do. Uh, I think life mending means to mend my tools, it, it takes my health. Something along those lines would make the most sense to me. Um, other than that, I'm not actually sure. So, I want to see. If I place this back down, is it just back to a normal spawner? Yeah, it's just black, back to a normal blaze spawner. I do believe these can be controlled by a redstone signal. So you can turn them on and off at will. And then through apotheosis, you can upgrade like the spawn delay spawn time uh spawn count maximum amount and range so that's pretty cool um other than that though i mean should i join phase here ready oh i clicked the wrong button ah hit marker though um <laughs> Uh, I'm not entirely sure how many more of these I need. This one's basic. Let's see. Basic. Nine more. So, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna keep going with this. Uh, I'll get the, the Blaze one to Superior, and then... The Wither Skeleton one to Advanced, and then I'll be back. We are now home, so we got quite a quite a few goodies out of that trip, which I oh, oh, holy cow, I always love. We only ended up with one wither skull though, so that's weird. Um, we're gonna put these in. Holy moly! Catch up. There you go. Uh, we're gonna put that in there. We don't need these right now. These are our empty cards, of course. And from here, it is nighttime again. Always nighttime when I'm trying to record. Okay. Let's check this real quick. Look at that. That's what I'm saying. This is so fast. Oh, what the heck? I think the problem is, though, is it's just burning through what I have in here because I have this super backed up 
so once it catches up with what's in here, it'll be a whole nother story. So I put our coral tombstone back here. Uh, we might make more of these. I have not found a use for them yet. But, um, you know, instead of... I was going to place a whole nother uh, Tesseract down, but I just realized we have one there that's powering just our refined storage system. So, we can... Okay, yeah, I guess we didn't have to do that. Losing it. I'm losing it, guys. Send help. Um, okay. Simulation chamber. Loot fabricator. Please insert a data mod data model to begin so not the deep learner but the model inside okay blaze so we take the blaze we throw it in here cannot begin simulation missing input prediction matrix so i believe that's these guys we have to go ahead and throw that in there system energy levels critical Yeah. So that's this guy not wanting to let us have some power. There we go. We're filling up nicely. As is this guy. Okay, launching runtime. Oh, okay. What is that used for? Okay, using crafting recipes, but what is this guy? This is the thing we actually need. Okay, prediction matrixes. What did we need for this that we ran out of? Glass panes. We actually don't have too much glass. But it's fine, because I got sand. And you get 16 per crafting recipe, too, so that's not all that bad. Okay. So, this might not be something we can 110% automate. Ooh, it said it failed there. Um, okay, well, let's, let's take this guy out and throw, slap him in there. Ooh, it's slower. A lot slower. What can you get with this? Three skulls. Coal, you can get 32 coal per prediction. That's insane. So let's get the skulls. And uh, we'll fight the wither today. That's what we can do. We'll let this guy do his job. Um, glowstone iron can make gold. That's useful. Blaze powder. So this, this has some pretty useful stuff. Okay. Hmm. That's easy to store. I like that. Um, actually, let's just... Where'd I put all those stupid things? We're burning through food. Oh, we got bread in here. Um, yeah, I made the advanced feeding upgrade, so it just eats the food for me. You know, can't be bothered to actually eat food myself. That would just be strange. Okay, so I like this. I like how this is working. Um, I don't know what this means. Not actually sure. Um, let 
Okay, so fish. This is the one I was. So. Oh, wow, you can sh straight up just make wither stars. Another star, sorry. Dropped by the weather, of course. Very interesting. Has quite the amount of uses. Um, we'll just let that run. It'll figure itself out. Uh, I don't believe I have soul stand, like any. Oh, I lied. We have one. Is there a way to just craft this so I don't have to go back into the nether? Of course, with our newly acquired things. Take this guy. Get some more skulls. I guess it's going through these things pretty decently. I can make a whole bunch of these and then just attach it or just attach it straight to the grid. Uh, wouldn't be too hard with an exporter. So, where shall we go to fight this guy? This is either going to go really well or really bad. I mean, I guess we can do it here. The sheer fact that, uh... I'm just worried about him blowing up that waste stone. Uh... Alright. We're just gonna go for it. Oh, I don't have my jetpack on. I'm like, why can't I turn on hover? Okay. So I don't know if this guy's been tweaked at all to be, like, insanely OP. But we're gonna find out. I had no idea there were more <laughs> spawners in here. I thought we weren't supposed to take damage from this either. Maybe that's the vibranium. Uh, hold all this. Shoot, we might need these. Are we gonna die? Yup. <laughs> oh man. Was well, not expecting that. When installed in the hive, it gives a 5% chance for a new baby. Nope, we don't care. Thought there was a way to take um, a, wither, a withered rose and make it into something so I don't take any withered damage. Uh, I mean, I guess I was wrong. What the hell I need these for? Alright, well, we didn't learn the first time, so, uh... Let's do it again. Um... Nope, nope. Oh, gosh. Need the screenshot. Need the screenshot. You just gotta yell at him in a mean voice. Gosh, 
we're gonna die again. Oh man, I thought I had golden apples. I'm actually gonna die. <laughs> oh gosh. Has it happened twice? Okay, nice. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, easy enough. We got two nether stars. Uh, what can we use them for? Nether star crux. I got no idea. Overpower and odd core. No idea. Shape card. Silk quarry. A beacon. I mean, that's obvious. Another beacon. Codebreaker. Infinity Wand. Uh, Angel Ring. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. What the hell are they so hard to get for? Is that it? The spawner does not need a nearby player. Ooh, so that's actually what one of these things we wanted. Huh. Interesting. those so this mod has its own storage that's pretty neat oh my gosh it's nighttime and raining now unlucky okay look at all this iron look at all that not storage all right so I said in the last video um, I'm actually going to yes so one thing I was worried about this is our our thingamaboo Or our thing with Bob. You know, that's a charcoal setup in there. Um, I mean, don't necessarily need this. You know what I mean? We don't. We also have this one out here. <laughs> I mean, they're doing the same thing. We can literally just combine them together. I can also move this guy because just throw him over here in the corner. Uh, Rainbow Furnace can stay. I also don't like how this is in the wall and exposed out there. And we are. I don't know if we're gonna build a new base to be honest. So when I get into series like this, um. I usually just start out in something like this and then go bigger but because of how I integrated everything around it I say for like each mod where if this series goes long enough each mod I want it to have its own like building per se and then of course our our main hut that'll have our storage and crafting and stuff so obviously we have immersive engineering starting right next to the bees this might get moved over here or if I can find like a little hut design for immersive engineering to start in 
And we, I mean, we can go straight down different levels with elevators and stuff for it. Um, bees, I would like to keep bees looking like this, if possible. The above ground look with the bees is nice. Makes it look less unnatural, more, you know, Minecraft-ish, not... Oh, so see, this actually caught up now. And we're out of energy. Confused face. How could we be out of energy? Where do I keep getting these? This is really sucking up all of my power. This is a power house. Power hog, power house. Power hog house. Yes. So, uh, boop. I do believe this guy will c consume less power. It does look that way indeed. I'm just getting a lot of coal right now for when I have to do this graphite stuff for bigger reactors. Um, I was getting this for literally just that. So, if this is too much strain on our system here, then we won't really have to worry about it too much. Because it's not keeping up at all. This isn't even getting power at this point. This has 10 buckets of honey in it. That's interesting. Um, let's actually go down and see what our power is doing. So if I have to um, make this bigger, I will do more of... Oh my lord. Oh yeah. We are out of power. To be expected, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, this is 600 RF. One, like, 3x3 three three reactor might produce the same amount as this. So... <laughs> checking the time. It's 8 o'clock right now. And this is a long episode. I'm going to cut. I'm going to make 10 more of these. And we will readdress the situation. Okay. So I've added 10 more of these. I know it's... It doesn't look as neat as it did. But I just added the cable. So it imports... Into the back. And the power comes out of the top. Um... So... This is the setup now. We have 20 coal generators um, constantly producing RF. Um, it's always going to keep up because this system is just overkill. Um, I could probably add 20 more of these and it would it would still be just fine. <sighs> Wrong level. So we're going to throw those back in there. This guy can go back in here. Okay. Now the problem was this wasn't getting power. Looking at it, and it's it's still not getting power at all. This guy just consumes power. Model energy cost is 256 FE a tick. Um we're producing roughly 1,200 now. Uh, 5 times 60 is, what, 60, 120, 240, 3, 300 a row, 600 a side, 1,200 a room. 
So this should pa be passively generating more than enough. That's not, that should not be using that much. I should also be getting power here. So is the power, is there an error within this? I don't think so, because it worked before. Um, all right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a, oh, you ain't gotta worry about this guy. This should work without one. We only had the lever on there in the first place because of our power issue. This thing is not controlled by redstone at all. Inter interesting. That is generating. Still no power. Oh boy. Please tell me this doesn't break when I... Okay, I got it back. Alright, let, let us see. Yep, okay, just like I thought. Um, we're going to fabricate this stuff up real quick. We'll throw this down here. We're gonna let this process. Uh, this takes an obscene. That is a. Oh no, where'd it go? There it is. That is an abnormally large amount of power required. And the only thing we're really using it for was to collect, um. Blaze rods. It's not like we're using it to passively generate anything. So, now that this is done, we're just going to pick these guys up. Um, we might play around with them at a later date. When we're producing power so big, it doesn't matter. But as of right now, this is easily uh, generating iron. I mean... What? Oh, we just took it in. Duh. Uh, throw that in there. Okay, I mean... It is definitely a... A different setup. Not gonna lie, I've seen... Seen stupider. But, uh... This is so passive, it, it's free. It's free to do. Um... And the fact that we're still generating even more coal is insane. Um, so there's really nothing more for me to do this episode. Next episode, we're going to be playing with RF tools even more besides the coal generator. Um, we're going we're gonna to be playing around with uh, the builder and making a quarry. But it's going to be... What's it called? I think it's... Uh, Cory... I think we wanted Phil. It doesn't matter because it, it'll be in that dimension, but... Yeah, this is a next episode thing for sure. So, we're going to be getting into the builder for a quarry system, and we'll be using our Tesseract and our Jenk power setup. And we'll also be getting into bigger reactors soon. I don't know when, but soon. 
Uh, I still gotta think of a building idea for it. How big dimensions? I've I haven't played with that mod in so long. I have no idea. So those are my next two ideas. Um, we still got all of this. We don't need flight. We have it with the jetpack. Um, Cory is on the list. Mob farms done. Iron farms done. Diamond and netherite farm. We will have to worry about. Uh, Beyond Earth also probably be one of the last mods I play with. Boss fights. I mean, we killed the Wither. Uh, we gotta go to the end. Kill the Ender Dragon still. Uh, we gotta find a stronghold as well. So, I mean, we have everything needed for that. And the pearls, we have infinite down there. We have blaze now. So, it's not a problem. Um... But yeah, one episode here, guys, so I hope you did enjoy. If you have any feedback, suggestions, or tips, do let me know. And uh, I hope you guys have a great night. Or day. Day or night. Peace.